Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week one in the NFL preseason. We are talking with Joe Duffy. His website, of course, is offshoreinsiders.com. He gives us a ton of uh, free leans, free picks, and uh, insights in our videos. But his final official picks um, can be found at his site every day at offshoreinsiders.com. Right now we're looking at Washington, Cleveland, and NFL preseason one. And uh, Joe Duffy, you know, those final picks at your site, generally pretty profitable, right? Absolutely. And we have information like this. In fact, in some cases, it's going to be more updated. A lot of times we like to beat the line moves, but preseason NFL has been great to me for more than 20 years. I've been in the business about, uh, I've been in the business 28 years, but it's really about 20 years ago that I started perfecting handicapping in the preseason. Right now we're going to look at Washington, Cleveland, you know, the Redskins, uh, you know, probably a make or break year for, for RG3, right? Johnny Manziel returns to Cleveland and report, early reports are generally positive from what I've been reading for, for, uh, for, for Manziel. My sense is that Cleveland's going to be running, you know, a lot this year and probably, you know, definitely a lot in this game. You know, it's a broken record. My pick is under 37 in this one. I think I might go official with that. Cleveland minus two. Do you anticipate uh, line moves in this game, Joe? I haven't seen anything right yet that screams out. I mean, by the time uh, the, you know, the, the game kicks off, there might be more information. It does look like that each team is going to play their starters about one quarter. Yeah, Robert uh, Griffin the third. This is his make or break year. So is last year, and I have a feeling so is next year. But, yeah, Griffin's one of these guys that's going to have an annual make or break year. Uh, you know, in the case of uh, the the uh, Browns, look, Josh McCown, another one of these journeyman guys. I wouldn't expect all that much from him. Uh, he's one of these guys that knows he'll always have a position somewhere. He's either as a backup or a starting quarterback. Obviously, Cleveland would like for Johnny Manziel to uh, win that starting job, but it's it's really more about Manziel's play than it is going to be about McCown's play, and that'll be quite interesting. Manziel did miss practice on Tuesday, but he is expected to play, and I do think that, you know, Manziel's going to be fired up. He's going to have something to prove, and there's been a lot of signs that he is maturing a little bit in the offseason, and we know that he's got that physical ability. So, uh, you know, I, I think Manziel could certainly uh, be productive once he's in there. Hmm. So maybe then we want to take Cleveland, and maybe, you know, if Manziel's going to maybe try to light up the scoreboard a little bit, maybe we don't like the under. What do you think? Not only that, but what's going to be interesting is who's going to be the number three quarterback for Cleveland. Look, Connor Shaw, all reports are that his arm strength has improved greatly in the offseason, and if he is the number three quarterback rather than Thad Lewis, I wouldn't be surprised if he starts throwing deep to test that. And because there is, uh, you know, a couple quarterback battles, not just possibly for the number one, but also the number three spot, yeah, there could, there could be a lot of balls thrown in this game. I'm not going to I'm not going to officially go out and say that I like the over, but I wouldn't just do the automatic under on this one. Okay, and then uh, so do you want to go official? The line's right now Cleveland minus two, and the total is 37. Is there any pick you want to advise us on? Uh, I would probably lean towards passing, but when you have a home team only laying two, that's that's usually pretty good value in the preseason. But no, I will not make a, an official pick, as you would say, for the purposes of this video. All right, so our new uh, format this year is that if you don't make a pick, it falls to me. I have to make a pick. I think I'm going to lean towards Cleveland because now that I'm thinking about I mean, I feel like there's going to be a lot of uh, testing things out on the offensive line, which will lead to a lot of running. But um, the game could also go over late. I'm thinking maybe Cleveland minus two with uh, Manziel playing uh, playing well and maybe other people as well uh, might be the way to go here. What do you think? Cleveland minus two, Joe? Do you disagree with that? Yeah, like, like I said, when you're talking about the first week of the preseason and you have a home team that's laying two and a half or less, it is a pretty good play. I mean, I think this is a toss-up, which means that the home team should be a three-point favorite, so therefore that is pretty good value. All right, so Joe Duffy officially passing on this one. My pick will be Cleveland minus two. Thanks so much, Joe.